Hi, I'm Jennifer Reed. Welcome to Eye on Celebrity. Katie gets the kid. While Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise are keeping their lips sealed on the details of their divorce settlement, multiple sources have confirmed that Katie, who filed for sole custody of the couple's daughter, Suri, will receive primary legal custody, limiting Tom to visits with strict guidelines. As to the reasons for the sudden divorce filing, which appears to have been planned with military precision, there's been some speculation that Tom's religion is one of the leading factors for the speedy settlement. The Church of Scientology vehemently denies that they played any role. This came after a high-ranking church official who had left the church in 2004 claimed that Scientology leader David Miscavige was pulling Cruz's strings behind the scenes. In any event, Katie seems to have taken a lesson from Nicole Kidman and orchestrated her divorce preparation in secrecy, going so far as to use a disposable cell phone so that Tom and presumably Scientology officials could not track her conversations. Justin Bieber is back in the news as he was pulled over for barreling down a Los Angeles freeway in his chrome-bodied Fisker Karma, a luxury hybrid electric roadster. The Biebs was apparently speeding in excess of 100 miles an hour at about 10.45 a.m. Quite frankly, I'd love to know where you could hit speeds above 15 miles per hour at that time of the day in Los Angeles. Justin called 911 and told operators that he was being chased by paparazzi as he was darting from one lane to another with a pack of five or six cars in hot pursuit. When the 911 operator asked him his name, he allegedly used a fictitious one, Justin Johnson. Bieber was cited by the highway patrol officers and later complained that the officers were not nice and wondered why he got pulled over when it was the paparazzi who was chasing him. Will there be a Magic Mike 2? Channing Tatum told Glamour UK that they're already working on it and want to make the sequel even bigger. And hot off that performance as a male stripper in Magic Mike, Channing is taking on another big screen role. The fast rising star is set to play the late daredevil Evil Knievel in a biopic that Columbia Pictures is revving up and that Tatum will also produce. If all goes as planned, Reed Carolyn, Magic Mike's screenwriter and Tatum's producing partner, will write the screenplay. Mike DeLuca and Dana Brunetti, who were recently announced as producers for Fifty Shades of Grey, will produce the Evil Knievel film with Columbia Pictures. Ron Perlman is granting wishes. The renowned and respected actor stepped up to the plate when a six-year-old Make-A-Wish Foundation recipient said he wanted to meet Hellboy and become a miniature version of the comic book movie hero himself. The six-year-old Zachary, whose last name is withheld for privacy reasons, has been battling leukemia and qualified to have a wish granted by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. According to the boy's parents, Zachary's seen the movie Hellboy over 100 times while he was in the hospital. Perlman, who plays Hellboy in the motion picture, happily turned himself into the character for Zachary, which incidentally is not an easy feat. The entire makeup process for Hellboy takes about three hours. Spectral Motion, the company who did the special effects on the film, had kept all the molds for the characters, so they were able to reapply the makeup to help grant the boy's wish. 29-year-old Aussie supermodel Miranda Kerr recently came under fire from mothers around the world for some comments she made about epidurals. Miranda told Harper's Bazaar UK that she'd watched some videos of babies being born with and without the use of an epidural, and that the babies born without the use of an epidural seem to happily go straight for their mother's breast upon delivery, and that the babies born to mothers using an epidural looked drugged up, and she didn't want that for her child. According to the popular parenting blog site CafeMomsTheStir.com, mothers are taking Kerr's comments to heart, claiming that being a supermodel doesn't make you an expert and that she should choose her words more wisely. Doctors are jumping into the fray as well, including Dr. Deborah Stein, who practices obstetric anesthesiology at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital in New York. Dr. Stein's expert opinion is that there is no cause for concern for a newborn regarding the use of epidural anesthesia, as Kerr's comments would suggest. That's it for now. I'm Jennifer Reed. Keep your eye on celebrity.